Hi, this is Mark Nedgeman. I'd like to talk to you today about what I'm seeing in the market. Uh, again, I don't give financial advice, but uh, I have lived a little bit of life and my life is far different than most of yours. Uh, right now, I want to talk to you about the SIVB um, failure. Uh, and I want to talk to you about some of the opinions of people that I've been watching on television, mostly tech people that have come out and said, well, the government did the right thing. Uh, it seems like we have a big shift in how people handle their business. Uh, everyone wants to be friends with the government. Uh, the government lately has not been pro-capitalism. Uh, it's been very much pro uh, itself and leans much more towards socialism and communism. Uh, that's a pretty scary place for it to be. What happened this weekend was the right thing. They should have come out and said for that bank in particular that the deposits were covered. That changed everything because it sent a signal to the markets saying that interest rates would uh, go down. And that's what we're seeing in the bond market right now. We saw the uh, two year drop from five down to 4.15. What's interesting is how when things go up and people like saying, wow, you can pretty much be sure that they're gonna start coming down. Now, getting back to this discussion about these tech people versus uh, the regular world out there, the capitalists, the true capitalists, if tech people start to lean on the government for their assistance uh, and for the favors that they get, it's going to tell the regular people, which are the majority of the depositors in the United States, that, hey, something is just not right. Just like the guy behind me, John Wayne, would uh, look at things. You know, you have to be man enough to admit that, hey, you had too much bank money in one bank, right, over the 250000 amount. The bank pretty much said, you have to keep your money in my bank. That's just unfair practice. And, of course, there should be a failure. Now, the run on the bank was created by the same tech, tech guys who are using their platform to tell people and their friends, hey, get your money out of Silicon Valley Bank. Again, a man-made incident occurred because all the people that are screaming thank you thank you thank you to the government caused the run on the bank itself now can there be other weakness in the banks yes and here's why the same government that people are thank you thank you thank you to caused a hazard back during covid by telling people hey you get a break from paying your rent you get a break from paying your mortgage you get a break from paying your student loan. And now we have a substantial amount of those loans ready to default because people went out and bought a car. People went out and bought furniture. People went out and bought things that they really couldn't afford because they thought that that favor by the government was going to last forever. What's the solution? Hopefully, the Federal Reserve will back off and lower interest rates so that unemployment stays high. Why do I want that? Because when unemployment stays high, the real risk to the financial market, mortgages and other loans, will not default as much as you think so. So I'm bullish on the market. I'm bullish on interest rates going down. And I'm bullish on a new administration stepping up and cleaning up this mess that's been created by this social welfare uh, socialist attitude towards running our country. And don't be surprised if we find out that much of this has been actually controlled or enticed by our adversaries in China. Because right now we are at a deep threat by China and by Russia, and we should be well aware of that. Have a great day. And I hope that all of you are 100 times smarter than me and you'll create a video to teach me. This is Mark from Newsweed.com wishing you all the best. If I have the time, I'll, I'll try to come back and make another video or so. But from what I see right now, I think we're in good shape unless the mortgage industry starts to fall apart because people cannot pay their mortgages. However, let me just say this one thing. We still have a shortage of housing. So for all those people that are renters, as the interest rate falls, 
new families that were created, perhaps they can have a chance at buying a new home and perhaps that will eliminate this mortgage crisis risk that is absolutely on the table right now. I always say goodbye twice. Goodbye. Mark from Newsweed.com. Thank you so much.